You are guys, Lewis here from XLJ Gaming, and this is going to be a YouTube tutorial on on how to do how to set up the chess shops on Schoolcraft Skybook. Um, this is the basic way to set up shop. You've got your name, the quantity of your items, so how many, uh, buy for ten, um, and then apple, and obviously you can sell your apples to people. Um, the, the way to set it up is you leave the top line blank because that will automatically fill in your name for you and then the amount of the item as I said before the buy or sell price will get into the sell how to do sell prices in a minute and then you can do the item name or ID um, we'll set up a basic shop just so you can see this time we're gonna sell uh, 15 for 6 there of stone which then it says there, shop successfully created. And then you can place your items in there and start selling them to people. Um, and now what we're going to do is show you how to use the, as you can see here, it says item ID. You can do it with item ID in case you don't, if in case like when you type in the name in, it says this is an invalid ID or something like that. What you, what you can do is if you do slash item info, it then says uh, item information quartz or 153. 153 is the item ID. So if we type 153, uh, the buy price for 50 and uh, 10 of, then it says shop successfully created and then it says quartz or. So then you can put your quartz in there. Uh, what you can also do. Um, just show you to do with the item ID. You can also do enchantments. So that's got unbreaking free and sharpness one. So if you now do uh, item info, that says there uh, durability, which is the unbreaking, and if, uh, a damage all is the sharpness. I think yep, sharpness, and it's uh, two two seven six, which is the diamond sword ID, and then you've got the enchantment ID. So two seven six hashtag one so two seven six hashtag one uh, we're gonna people can buy it for is that a million but I think that's no that's a hundred thousand that's a million um, and they can they can obviously buy one and that now comes up as a diamond sword and you can put that in the chest and you can just tell people uh, diamond sword I can't spell today. Diamond sword with unbreaking free. I'm not going to sort that layer now. Unbreaking free and sharpness one. And then people know that that's obviously an unbreaking free sharpness one sword. And hello, Luke. <laughs> yeah. Um, what you can also do. Uh, is do the sell so you've got obviously buy and sell you can do we'll do the apple again so one of uh, sell price of one for an apple and then will it even get Luke to show us Luke purchase an apple this one Alright, uh, he's gone down. Ah, uh, now I'm riding him. That's a different plugin. Um, <laughs> he's being a gorm. There, it just said, uh, Luke bought one quartz or from you. Your shop is out of stock. Your shop is out of stock. Luke bought one apple. Okay, thanks. And now he can sell it to us in this shop. And once he's sold it to us, it will get put in the item and then get taken out of that, obviously. But if you want to do... What you could do is have the buy and the sell on one shop. So we're going to do 32 stone. You can... 32, and then you can do buy for 10. And then if you do the double dot, they can also sell it to you for 5. So you could actually buy and sell from the same chest to save space and then stone so then that comes up as a buy and sell uh, use this shot please and obviously they can it should come this PC is now 
just he didn't have enough money so he's it will also if you don't have enough money it will just take away uh, the amount of the amount of items your money will let you have you see there he didn't have enough money at first so uh, or I didn't have enough money I don't think so he sold it to me for that price there um, it's really complex this plugin it's got some awesome features and I think that is everything uh, remember item info gets you your, uh, your item your item ID if the name's not working thanks for watching see you soon guys